Pope Benedict XI Latin, Benedictus XI, 1240–7 July 1304, born Nicola Boccasini, Niccolò of Treviso was Pope from of October 1303 to his death on 7 July 1304. He was also a member of the Order of Preachers. He was beatified with his cultus confirmed by Pope Clement XII in 1736. He is a patron of Treviso. Early life Niccolò Boccasini was born in Treviso to Boccasio, a municipal notary died 1246, whose brother was a priest, and Ber N. Arda, who worked as a laundress for the Dominican friars of Treviso. Niccolò had a sister, Adelit. The family lived outside the walls of Treviso, in a suburb called S. Bartolomeo. In 1246, a Dominican friar left a sum of money in his will to Bernarda and her children, recently orphaned. A condition was that if Niccolò were to enter the Dominican order he would receive half of the entire legacy. From the age of six, it seems, Niccolò was destined for the monkish life. His first teacher was his uncle, the priest of S. Andrea. He entered the order of preachers in 1254, at the age of fourteen, taking the habit of a novice in his native Treviso. He was taken to Venice by his prior and presented to the provincial, who assigned him to the convent of S.S. Giovanni e Paolo in Venice. For the next seven years or so, Niccolò pursued his basic education in Venice. Toward the end of this period, he served as tutor to the young sons of Romeo Chirini of Venice, whose brother was a canon in the Cathedral of Treviso. In 1262, Niccolò was transferred to Milan, to the new studium of S.U. Storgio. He spent the next six years at S.U. Storgio. By the end of his term at S.U. Storgio he must have become a professed member of the Order of Preachers. The actual date, however, is unknown. As a professed brother he served in the responsible position as a lecturer in the studium in Venice, that is to say, he was in charge of the elementary education of the brothers in his convent. Each convent had its lector. He served as lector for 14 years, from 1268 to 1282, according to Bernardus Guidonis. In 1276 he is attested as being lector at the Dominican convent in his native Treviso, a post he was still holding in 1280. In February, 1282, he is found at Genoa, again as lector. He was not a professor, since he had never taken a university degree. <laughs> <laughs> Office and responsibility in 1286, at the meeting of the provincial chapter, which took place that year in Brescia, Fr. Niccolò was elected provincial prior of Lombardy. As provincial of Lombardy, Fr. Niccolò's lifestyle changed considerably. Instead of being firmly attached to a single convent for years, he would instead become peripatetic, moving from one convent to another on visits of inspection, encouragement and correction. In Lombardy at the time there were some 51 convents. He also had responsibility as an inquisitor, a task for which popes considered Franciscans and Dominicans especially suited. He also had the responsibility of convening the provincial chapters. In 1287, the chapter was at Venice, in 1288, it was at Rimini, in 1289 at the general chapter, which was held at Trier, Fr. Niccolò was released from the office of Provincial of Lombardy, having completed his three-year term. It is probable that, without office, he returned to a convent, possibly that of Treviso—though the evidence is scanty and based on wills and codicils. He was elected Provincial Prior of Lombardy again, however, at the Provincial Chapter held at Brescia in 1293. In 1294 it was held at Faventia, in 1295 at Verona, and in 1296 at Ferrara, where Fr. Niccolò's successor was elected, since he had a new assignment. <laughs> Master General of the Order of Preachers at the Capitulum Generale of the Order of Preachers, which was held at Strasbourg in 1296, Frater Niccolò of Treviso was elected Master of the Order of Preachers, and issued ordinances that forbade public questioning of the legitimacy of Pope Boniface VIII's papal election which had taken place on Christmas Eve, 1295 on the part of any Dominican. Cardinalate 
Topic. Boccasini was elevated to the Cardinalate on December 4, 1298, by Boniface VIII, and assigned the title of Cardinal Priest of Santa Sabina. He entered the Roman Curia on March 25, 1299, and thus began to receive his share of the profits of the Chamber of the College of Cardinals. He was promoted to the rank of Cardinal Bishop of the See of Ostia on March 2, 1300, and also received episcopal consecration. On May 13, 1301 he was appointed Apostolic Legate to Hungary. He made his official departure on June 22, 1301, and returned on May 10, 1303. He also served as Papal Legate to France. When Pope Boniface VIII was seized at Anagni in September, 1303, Boccasini was one of only two cardinals to defend the Pope in the Episcopal Palace itself. The other was Pedro Rodriguez, Bishop of Sabina. They were imprisoned for three days. On Monday, September 10, they were liberated by forces led by Cardinal Luca Fieschi, and on September 14, the Pope and his retinue returned to Rome, with an escort organized by Cardinal Matteo Rosso Orsini. Papacy Papal election the conclave to elect the successor of Boniface VIII was held in the Basilica of St. John Lateran and the College of Cardinals desired an appropriate candidate who would not be hostile towards King Philip IV of France. After one ballot in a conclave that lasted a day, Boccasini was elected as Pope. Actions <laughs> 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 He was quick to release King Philip IV from the excommunication that had been put upon him by Boniface VIII. Nevertheless, on 7 June 1304, Benedict XI excommunicated Philip IV's implacable minister Guillaume de Nogaret and all the Italians who had played a part in the seizure of his predecessor at Anagni. Benedict XI also arranged an armistice between Philip IV of France and Edward I of England. After a brief pontificate that spanned a mere eight months, Benedict XI died suddenly at Perugia. As original reports had it, suspicion fell primarily on Nogaret with the suspicion that his sudden death was caused by poisoning. There is no direct evidence, however, to either support or disprove the contention that Nogaret poisoned the Pope. Benedict XI's successor, Clement V removed the papal seat from Rome to Avignon, inaugurating the period sometimes known as the Babylonian Captivity. He and the French popes who succeeded him were completely under the influence of the kings of France. Pope Benedict XI also celebrated two consistories for the purpose of creating new cardinals. The first, on December 18, 1303, elevated Fr. Nicholas Alberti da Prado, op. the Bishop of Spoleto, and Fr. William Macclesfield Marlsfeld, op. of Canterbury, prior of the English province of the Dominicans. On February 19, 1304, he elevated Walter Winterburn, op. of Salisbury, the confessor of King Edward I of England, who did not want to part with him, and kept him in England for some time. By the time he arrived in Perugia on November 28, 1304, Pope Benedict was dead. Cardinal Winterburn died at Genoa on September 24, 1305. It cannot escape notice that all three new cardinals were members of the Dominican order. Benedict XI was the author of a volume of sermons and commentaries on the Gospel of Matthew, the Psalms, the Book of Job, and the Book of Revelation. Stories Cardinal Caesar Baronius wrote that, on the Monday of Easter week in 1304, Pope Benedict XI was celebrating Mass, but a pilgrim interrupted it, because he wanted the Pope to hear his confession. Rather than telling him to find another time or another priest to have his confession, the Pope left the Mass to hear his confession and then returned to continue the Mass. This appears to be an anecdote, appropriate for a sermon recommending frequent confession, placed in an age when twice annual confession was the norm. It is unlikely that a pilgrim would attempt to interrupt a Mass, that a priest would interrupt a Mass for some other function, or that the protocols of the papal court would permit such an unfettered close approach to the pontiff during a sacred service. There is also a story that, at the general chapter of the Dominicans at Lucca in May, 1288, the provincial of the Roman province, Thomas de Luni predicted to Fr. Niccolo that he would someday be Pope. 
On another occasion, when he was in Venice, a friar of Tocello predicted that he would be provincial, master general, cardinal and pope. This is a sort of flattery often used upon, and then anecdotally reported about ecclesiastical persons, after they have reached the height of their eminence. The thousands of times when the prediction does not turn out to be true are not reported. One need not place much significance in such tales. Topic. Beatification. Topic. Benedict XI earned a reputation for holiness and the faithful came to venerate him. His tomb gained a reputation for the amount of miracles that emerged from the site. Pope Clement XII approved his cultus on 24 April 1736 which acted as his formal beatification. Pope Benedict XIV extended his veneration to the Republic of Venice in 1748 after a request from the Venetians. Topic. Papal numbering Topic. A note on the numbering, Pope Benedict X 1058 is now considered an antipope by the Catholic Church. At the time of Benedict XI's election, however, Benedict X was still considered a legitimate pope, and thus the man the Catholic Church officially considers the tenth true Pope Benedict, Niccolò Boccasini, took the official number 11 rather than X. This has advanced the numbering of all subsequent popes Benedict by one digit. Popes Benedict XI and Benedict XVI are, from an official point of view, the 10th through 15th popes by that name. See also List of popes References Topic. Bibliography Topic. C. H. Grandjean, editor, Le Registre de Benoit 11, Paris 1905. Jacobus Etchard, Scriptores Ordinis Predicatorum Recensiti Tomus I, Paris 1719, pp. 444 447. Bernard Guidoni, Vita Benedicti Papi 11, and Vita Clementis Papi V, in Ludovicus Antonius Muratori, Rerum Italicarum Scriptores Tomus Tertius, Milan 1723, 672-679. A. Toron, Histoire des Hommes Illustres de L, Ordre de Saint Dominique Tome Premier, Paris 1743, pp. 655-704. J. B. Christoph, L. Histoire de la Papete Pendant le 14, Siècle Tome Premier, Paris, L. Maison 1853, 78 to 175. Lorenzo Fietta, Niccolo Boccasini e il suo tempo, Padova 1874. Martin Souchon, Die Papstwallen von Boniface 8 bis Urban the Sixth, Braunschweig, Benno Goritz 1888. Charles Grandjean, Benoit XI Avant Son Pontificat, 1240-1303, Melanges d. Archéologie et d. Histoire 8, 1888, 219-291. Paul Funk, Papst Benedict XI, Munster 1891. Heinrich Fink, Aus den Tage Boniface 8. Fund und Forschungen, Munster 1902. Ferdinando Ferradin, Beato Benedetto XI Trivigiano Treviso, Enrico Martinelli 1904. Daniel Antonin Mortier, Histoire des Maiteurs Généraux de L. Ordre des Frères Pressures II, Paris 1905, pp. 319-353. Ferdinand Gregorovius, History of Rome in the Middle Ages, Volume 5.2 Second Edition, Revised London, George Bell, 1906, Book X, Chapter 6. Heinrich Fink, Acta Aragonensia. Quellen zur Deutschen, Italianischen, Französischen, Spanischen, zur Kirchen und Kulturgeschichte aus der Diplomatischen Korrespondenz Jamies II, 1291-1327 Berlin und Leipzig 1908 Ingeborg Walter, Benedetto XI, B.L., Encyclopedia dei Papi 2000. Marina Benedetti, Benedetto XI, Freight Predicator e Papa Milano, Biblioteca Francescana, 2007. Friedrich Wilhelm Botz 1975. Benedict XI. In Botz, Friedrich Wilhelm. Biographisch Bibliographisches Kirchenlexikon BBKL in German, 1. Ham, Botz, Call. 486. ISBN 3-88309-013-1.
Vito Sibilio, Benedetto XI. Il Papa Tra Roma e Avignon equals Dissertaciones Historici. Band 30. Roma 2004. Fischbesprechung Georg Schwager, Benedict XI in, Lexicon des Mittelalters. Volume 1, Artemis and Winkler, Munich, Zurich 1980, ISBN 3-7608-8901-8, Call 1860-1861, Ingeborg Walter, Benedetto XI, Beato. In, Massimo Bray, ed., Encyclopedia dei Papi, Istituto della Encyclopedia Italiana, Volume 2, Niccolo I, Santo, Sisto IV, Rome, 2000, OCLC 313581688. Topic external links Topic Friedrich Wilhelm Botz, 1975. Benedict XI, Papst, Nicolaus Boccasini. In Botz, Friedrich Wilhelm. Biographisch Bibliographisches Kirchenlexikon BBKL in German, 1. Ham, Botz, Call. 486. ISBN 3-88309-013-1. St. Benedict XI. Pope and Confessor, Butler's Lives of the Saints.